when we were all locked in our houses for the better part of two, two and a half years, no one was going anywhere. The roads were empty, falling into disrepair. Our cars were laying dormant. And since we'd been let out again, the charges seemed to have gone through the roof. All the airports where I work at regularly, you have to pay to drop people off to go and park in a car park or inevitably a supermarket or anywhere like that. You're paying more than you ever did before, all in the name of cash generation, although they'll blame the environment and other things, particularly when they're talking about using emissions as an excuse to put the prices up. Well, it's getting out of control, and you wouldn't believe some of these figures. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, hope you're well, thank you very much for joining me again and as always I appreciate the support, well parking it's ridiculous, it's going up and up and up and up and you saw uh, Rishi Sunak's intervention where he wanted a centralised parking app for all parking throughout the UK, let's forget this war on motorists, what utter bullshit if ever I've heard it, how much is all this costing? Uh, motorists, you know, I mean, if you have a look at this here, UK's most expensive parking spots have raked in a billion quid in the past year. A billion, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I'll show you the full version of this in a moment. But greedy councils have been accused of, uh, accused of using Brits as cash cows after raking in billions of pounds from extortionate parking fees. Local authorities throughout England have banked £1.95 billion from fees, permits, fines and car park rents in 2022 and 2023 with drivers accusing councils of ripping them off with charges of up to six quid an hour. Six quid an hour. I mean, we have a local supermarket here. I mean, it's 50p for 20 minutes or something, straight in, straight out, job done. And inevitably, you can get that refunded at the counter. But some of the charges I've seen are absolutely extortion. I mean, if we have a look at this map here, uh, you can see up in Nottingham, £23 million in revenue, uh, up to 260 an hour. Westminster, up to 560 an hour, with £103 million in revenue. Hammersmith and Fulham. Six pound an hour, fifty three point seven million. But it's all around London where the most expensive ones seem to be: Kensington and Chelsea, fifty three million; Bournemouth, twenty three; Brighton, forty five point two. And that's just those uh, half a dozen areas. And God forbid what it's going to be like in the rest of the country. But you know, between that and ULES and road taxes and everything else that's going on, it's becoming more and more and more expensive as the days go by. Have a read of the article. I'll leave it in the description below so you can have a look. Leave comments, of course, and let me know if you've had any foul experiences of this yourself. Please, as always, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, share the content. As I said, leave your comments. I'll see you soon with one more. Toodaloo.